I didn't know what was going on. I just stared at him. The Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial has now entered its fourth week. The trial has been a dramatic one filled with all sorts of surprising details about Heard and Depp's relationship. And lately, Elon Musk has been thrown into the mix. And while the billionaire will not be testifying in court, we can suspect that he has some thoughts of his own on Heard. You know, I think we really just got this, you know, consciousness, like this little candle of consciousness. Number one, the rundown. You may have been hearing a lot about Amber Heard these days. She and ex-husband Johnny Depp are locked in a long trial attempting to get down to the truth of what went on in their relationship. Depp sued Heard for defamation after she published a Washington Post op-ed piece about being the victim of domestic abuse. And well, the whole thing has gotten pretty explosive. Number two, along came Elon. And Elon Musk has been brought into the trial as he and Amber Heard dated on and off from 2016 to 2018. Despite the close timelines with Heard's divorce, the pair claimed that they only started seeing each other once things were finalized. Depp, however, accused Heard of cheating on him with the billionaire. But Amber and Musk first met years prior, in 2013, on the set of Machete Kills, which starred Heard and featured Musk in a cameo performance. They later became official in 2017. Elon told people that what attracted him to Amber was her edginess. Number three, hard feelings. Meanwhile, it seems that Amber held complicated feelings for Musk. Christian Carino, an agent who worked with Heard, shared text messages in court in which Amber states that she was dating Musk because it was filling space in her heart. Number four, calling it quits. Maybe that should have been a warning. After going official, it didn't take long for the storm clouds to roll in. The two split in August of 2017. At least that's when rumors started to swirl and Musk later confirmed it was true. He went on to tweet, By the way, just to clear up some of the press storms this weekend, although Amber and I did break up, we are still friends, remain close, and love one another. So it would seem Musk had a high opinion of Amber, at least after splitting up. He later went on to explain their reason for splitting, long distance, or as Musk puts it, long distance relationships when both partners have intense work obligations are always difficult, but who knows what the future holds. Number five, Lonely Hearts Club. And it seems Elon was really, really into Amber. In an interview with Rolling Stone, the entrepreneur opened up about just how hurt he was over the end of the relationship, saying, I just broke up with my girlfriend. I was really in love and it hurt bad. Well, she broke up with me more than I broke up with her, I think. I've been in severe emotional pain for the last few weeks. Hmm, love hurts sometimes. Number six, reunited and it feels so good. And that question Elon had about what the future held? Well, turns out it was another round. The pair just couldn't keep away from each other for long. At the end of 2017, they decided to give the relationship another shot and vacation together in Easter Island. They were even snapped holding hands after New Year's. Number seven, the last straw. But despite a seemingly good holiday, the couple called it quits for good in February of 2018. One source told Page Six that it was Musk who decided to end things, but that Heard had agreed that the relationship had run its course. Sounds amicable enough? Number eight, financial ties. The renewed interest in Musk and Heard's relationship is because of Musk's name appearing in the current trial, mainly over finances. Heard promised to donate half of her divorce settlement money, a whopping $3.5 million, to the ACLU and had failed to fulfill that promise. Instead, as Terrence Doherty, chief operating officer and general counselor of the ACLU, testified in court, Amber had only donated 1.3 million, and he believes $500,000 of that sum actually came from Musk. Which points to a pretty close relationship between the billionaire and the actress. Number nine, the embryo debate. But the goodwill, it appears, did not last, as Musk sued Heard over embryos, allegedly. You heard that right. The two allegedly had fertilized embryos frozen, and it was reported that Musk wanted them destroyed post-breakup while Amber wished to keep them. 
or so says documents obtained by the Mirror. In those documents are statements by Jennifer Howell, a friend to Amber's sister, Whitney, and her mom, Paige, claiming that Amber's mom had confided in her that Amber was in a legal battle with Elon over the rights to embryos they had created together. He wanted to destroy them, and Amber tried to keep them to have a baby. If this is true, it sounds like Elon didn't think Amber should be mothering his kids. But wait, there's more. If things don't sound complicated enough, Howell adds that Paige told her that Johnny was either an angel or a saint compared to Elon. Hmm, sounds like the relationship might have been more turbulent than we realized. Number 10. Una And things get even messier when discussing the parentage of Amber's baby girl, Una. In July of 2021, Amber welcomed the bundle of joy into the world via a surrogate. She stated on Instagram, Four years ago, I decided I wanted to have a child. I wanted to do it on my own terms. A part of me wants to uphold that my private life is none of anyone's business. I also get that the nature of my job compels me to take control of this. Amber has kept true to her want for privacy and refuses to release the name of the father. However, many fans suspect the baby could be Musk's. But this has not been confirmed. But tell us what you think of Elon and Amber dating. Comment below and don't forget to hit subscribe for more celeb news from The Thing Celebrity.